as part of MLA Advisory's 2018 Market Intel, which provides an overview of our real estate market and a forecast for the year ahead, we are proud to showcase some of the themes explored, including affordability within global cities and expected pre-sale inventory. We studied eight cities around the world and their affordability ratio. This ratio looks at the median household income compared to median property value. Chicago is used as a benchmark city with a normal real estate market and affordability ratio below 10. Sydney's affordability ratio sits at 12.8 with a median household income of just 84,000 and a median property value of just over $1 million. Manhattan, with an affordability ratio of just under 16, has the lowest home ownership rate at 24%. Westminster London, Vancouver and Kowloon Hong Kong hover together at higher affordability ratios between 17 and 18.1. Vancouver's ratio at 17.4 is extremely high. This ratio can normalize if housing prices remain consistent and the workforce demands higher wages to sustain livability in the city. Shanghai, populated with over 25 million people, has the lowest household income, resulting in the highest affordability ratio at 27.9. As we look for levers to help with affordability in Vancouver, we can zero in on a few key factors. Rezoning and city approval timelines continue to delay completion. In 2017, projects launched in Vancouver, Burnaby and North Vancouver averaged over 22 months from submission to approval. To put that into perspective, with planning, approval and construction timelines, homes are not being delivered in less than five years. While land costs have risen, construction costs have also increased and are likely to surpass $350 per square foot. These costs eventually get passed to the consumer. 2017 had over 8,000 concrete units released to market. This year we're predicting that 62 projects and 11,064 units will be released due to a number of projects being delayed in their approval process. Markets to watch include Burnaby, West Coquitlam and North Vancouver. It will be a busy year ahead for multifamily developments adding more supply to the market. Major threats include lengthy approval processes, complexities around lending and government intervention. However, Greater Vancouver's housing market will remain strong and active, but at a much slower rate than the last two years. Vancouver is an incredible city to live, work and play. Housing and livability is always top of mind, and with growth comes challenges. We all have a role to play in assisting Vancouver to becoming a sustainable and forward global city.